welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing well. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, hi. And if you are a returning subscriber, hey, what's up? How are you doing? Hope you are doing well. So in today's video, I have a special guest. I always love it when I have a special guest. It's so exciting. I have the lovely Deca of Diary of an Abuja Mom here with me today. Hey. Hi, guys. Hey. She is a fellow YouTuber here in Abuja, and she's also a mom. So in today's video, we are going to be doing the mom tag. And basically what we're going to be doing is the first 10 questions in the tag, questions in the tag um, is going to be on my channel, which is yeah. this video. And then the last 10 is going to go up on her channel. So make sure you go over to um, Deca's channel to see the rest of the video. No vex, I'm forming, so that's how I'm doing my hair. <laughs> no forming is allowed here. Anyway, so make sure you go over to Deca's <laughs> channel and subscribe. Tell them a bit about yourself. Okay, I'm a mom, I'm a stay-at-home mom in Abuja. Um, what else? I'm a mom of two. Yeah. For a four-year-old and a two-year-old. And what are the names? Gina Ya and Ifa Nacho. Oh, Gina wow. for short and Ife for short. Oh, very nice. Let's jump straight into the video. So the first question is, how old were you when you had your first child? I was 23. Well, how old do you know? 27. Okay. Wow. So you got married at so sorry. <laughs> this is gonna turn into a get to memory video as well. Oh. I don't have kids then because of the school I went to Madonna. So any Madonna student watching, hi. <laughs> and then you had your second one uh, when I was twenty five. I was twenty six when I had my first child. Um, yeah. Yeah. Well, I plan to not anytime soon. <laughs> not anytime. Doctor's orders. Okay. First of all, okay. and I'm just, I don't know, for some reason, I'm actually terrified of being pregnant. So. I'm really terrified. Was what was the hardest thing about being pregnant for nine months? Huh. I hate that fish. I know the annoying thing. My fellow Nigerian ones, if you go to Nigerian houses for your Atlanta, like, you know, they sell, they sell food. People oh, not yeah. eating my wine and fish, Jesus. As in, <laughs> that, simply, that was like the worst thing. Like, when I, as in, I'm already like feeling sick. And I'll go to the house and in my mind, everybody should be feeling sick with me. Mm -hmm. And some people will be eating fish. <laughs> I would say the hardest thing about being pregnant for nine months was the pain I had initially in the first three months. If you watched my um, my The Devil Tried It video, you know all about the pain I was in when I was pregnant. The first three months of my pregnancy. I'd say that was the hardest thing. And then another thing that was really, really bad, bad was heartburn. I got really bad heartburn and indigestion. What did you think? The thing is, I couldn't take that with skull because that made me sick. The thing that I started using was these trouble tablets, Tom. Trouble tablets. That helped later on in pregnancy. But when you eat and you have to sit I'm for like you. five hours, no, but it's good to, to digest and you can't lay down and then the acid reflux and the heartburn and oh. Can you think of any good things you enjoyed during those nine months? Okay, for me, I enjoyed my husband. I was now like, he was about caring. I was not having time. I played it all day. I think a lot of enjoyed that part. Even when I got to the gym, I was just like, I mean, like I had drama too. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> it will not be do it is for me, cooking. Yeah, that's, and it's not just your husband, like your mom. Not really, your this with my mom. So. No, but like if they saw you. Okay, or yeah, of course, saw you. Uh, my brother, I remember my brother, I would wake up early. <laughs> when I was in the UK, I'd wake up and I'd go and meet him. I'd be like, the baby wants McDonald's. <laughs> oh, yeah, the fact that I didn't have to suck my belly in, that was yes. amazing. The best thing yes. about being yeah. pregnant. And question number four In your opinion, were all the things you heard about childbirth? accurate or way off. Okay. For my first I didn't really hear so many things. Okay. Seriously, they didn't really give us the or maybe I didn't go for the class, I don't know. Okay. So a lot of things that I did, I just did it on my own. I learned everything on my own. Like I practically I didn't know that I had to leave my legs open when I was pushing my baby. Okay. So me my baby was already popping up but you won't see it now. Yeah. I closed my legs. Because I didn't even know how to push. I didn't know you as a Oh, really? I but then you didn't show me the That's what I'm saying. Maybe I didn't go for the class. But the particular know. hospital I did my antenatal, I didn't teach us. Kind of thing. Was it accurate? Yeah, I'd say it was accurate. The pain. A lot of people tell you you're in a lot of pain. 
yeah. you, are, you are you are actually in a lot of pain. Yes. The one thing that a lot of people um, tell you that I found was garbage was obviously you know you watch Nigerian movies mm. and as soon as the water breaks the baby baby's so. coming it doesn't work like that that's a lie it the does not work like that the it is your, the and then the baby doesn't come out for like another two weeks or you know and then also another thing is your due date is a load of bull crap because I was given a due date and I was two weeks overdue and then they had to reduce no, me not everybody oh, no, no. Oh, my first was my due date really? my second was over but it doesn't always work what works for me might not work for you that's just me yeah. saying that about due date the funny thing was I actually thought I was my baby was going to come early so I think I'd already programmed my mind that I was going to have a baby in, like, in August like mid August my baby was going to come out and that would be it but then she didn't come out until mid September by then I was frustrated with life I was just like it's time I don't care yeah I was just so frustrated I was frustrated because I mean, you are still because they don't want to bring out your child and then they start giving you advice on how to make the baby come <laughs> would you have handled childbirth differently if you could redo it yeah I think first of all, like I said before, I would have reprogrammed my mind that my baby was not coming early. Yeah. Also, if I could do it differently, if I had a choice, I would have preferred not to be induced. I would have liked to go into labor naturally. Why? Like, I, mean, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like it, being induced is painful. I had to get induced twice. I had a horrible experience with my first. I didn't, like I said, I didn't know what was happening. So she, I acted drama. Ha, I told her to remove her. Don't so you wouldn't be, be a drama queen? Yes, I would have just calmed down. I think maybe, I don't know, I would have just maybe be calmer. I couldn't be it. Wow. So, like, I fell out of my stomach. I was like, I don't want to give. That's showing you how crazy <laughs> and dramatic. I brought out my kid. Wow. Yeah. But have you done your delivery story on your YouTube channel? I've not. You should. What would be your advice for someone who is about to have a baby? you do you yeah it's not that you don't take advice but just so that everybody's not the same mm -hmm. my experience might not be an experience mm -hmm. so when you notice something you can it doesn't mean that you shouldn't say oh, yeah. you can talk to someone about it but everything is just so sharp yeah finally people will give you advice yeah. people will say a lot of things and then just mm -hmm. take what you want yeah. from what people are okay. saying do you know my son when i gave it to my son his skin is so fine People just are joking, like some people do not tell me, ah, did they take out I'm like, the only person that matters in your, during your pregnancy, in terms of giving you advice, is yourself yeah. and your doctor. So just do you, enjoy it, live it, yeah. take advantage of all the pampering. Yes, that's my own advice. <laughs> take advantage of all the yes, pampering. No, because let me tell you, once the baby it's comes out, again. once the baby comes out, it's not about you, you anymore. anymore. It's all about the baby, like it's nobody not. cares about you. So for the nine months that everybody cares about you, enjoy, enjoy it. it. What has been the hardest thing about being a mom? The fact that wow. you can't do anything without your kids. Like you must you must always put them first, like think about them. Going out, some people even judge you. Like you're going out without your kids, like especially in this country. Yes, they judge you. So that's the hardest thing for me. Um I think, yeah, I think the hardest thing for me is the fact that you're constantly thinking baby, 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 Like, it takes, yeah, your child will take up your entire 24 hours. You no longer have time for yourself. Let me tell you now, what we do now is, I my husband every Friday is our date night. Whether it's come rain, come shine, except maybe the baby is dying. <laughs> See, you know that kind of feeling. Yeah. But so, as in, we must because I noticed that we're always baby, baby. We're yeah, like carrying them out, mm -hmm. and it was it's really annoying. annoying. Like you can't be free, you can't yeah. do some certain things, you yeah. can't smoosh. <laughs> You're not free. You can't do this car smooshing. <laughs> what has been the most rewarding thing about being a mom? Ah, God, like everything, everything. Yeah. everything. Being a mom is like the most beautiful, yeah. special, thing, inspiring, motivating Learn. thing about yeah. like it's you learn so much about yourself. Yeah. For me, I used to be senseless. I always say I used to be this kind of person that doesn't send me, but I don't care. If you like, hate me, like me, I don't care. But having kids have made me like sorry. Really, really 
Do you understand? Yeah. You really, really okay. care about other people. Mm-hmm. And another thing, uh, when my kids tell me, like when I say I love you, for instance, I tell my daughter, I love you, Gina. She tells me, I love you more. Or on her own, she just tells me, I love you more. Yeah. You see, it's crazy. <laughs> I'm not like, because I didn't grow up in that kind of, in that kind of yeah. setting. It doesn't mean my mom doesn't love you. We, we, we didn't yeah. grow up in the So I always right? try to like, always tell them, I love you, I love you. Now they tell me on their own, like, just come into my room. And my daughter will tell me, I want to kiss you. Oh, that's it's so like, I think the most rewarding thing is just seeing them grow from being a baby. Even even though she's only she's not even one year, she's only eight months, about to turn eight months old. Just seeing her grow, seeing the changes, yeah. it's just so beautiful. Yeah. And I'd say the other thing about the most rewarding is the fact that having a baby has kind of pushed me yeah. to do more, to want yeah, more, to yeah. do better, to be better. Yes, of course. And I don't know, as soon as I had her, like I just wanted to do so much. I wanted her to be able to look at me yes, as a mom. Yeah, I'm, as, proud, of I'm proud of my mom. What was the most surprising thing you discovered about me? The most surprising thing I would say is that everybody has an opinion on how you should raise your child. child. Oh my God, that's true. <laughs> and I was so surprised. I didn't think that even people that you're like, what the whole kids what are like, this? or you don't even have children. <laughs> and I'm like, what? How? How do you know? Surely, me being the mom, I would know what's best for my yeah. child. Yeah. But it's like other people feel, seem to think that they know what's what best. Yeah. yeah, and it was so surprising for me because I couldn't quite get my head around the fact that you know, random strange people will come up to you, you know, and tell you, oh, do this, do that. You're not doing this right. You're not doing. This. And I'm like, no. For me, I will use a scenario to describe my. The whole day I went to the market with my daughter Gina, she was just she just got into school for the first time. So I went to the market. I packed a little bag. So I was carrying her, carrying like bags. Mm-hmm. I got things. I was carrying but I couldn't get me someone to help me. I didn't mm-hmm. have help yet. So I was carrying her. You know how you be carrying her then she was not like on my side like this. Mm-hmm. One lady that sells plantain now shouted. Like in the market. She now shouted. Madam, you don't carry that girl, eh? Yeah, you know they carry her, you know. I was, I was, you know, I didn't know what I told back. It's me that was like struggling with my, I just dropped my daughter on the floor, like she was scripted. I kept with her, and I told back, and I warned her. I told her, I will beat you. Mm-hmm. If you say it again. Do you know, to me, what yeah. that man would have done was come and drop me, carry If she, if she yeah. feels yeah. maybe a certain way about yeah. it. That's the problem with Nigerians. They like telling you what they cannot even do. Like they can't even see the pain you're going through. And so, let me not say let me, they must come and make you feel like, like you're not doing it well. Everybody was telling me, Decca, is this one, this one, don't give your daughter this one, give your daughter this one. Like, you know what that amazes me is when you see people with their own kids and like, I don't want to use harsh words, they are refracts. And then they come and tell they you, can't. take yeah. care of your child. Being a mom, you cannot you win these people. You so can't. the best thing is to just do you. Do you, seriously. Swear. Obviously, there are times when it upsets you. I mean, I've had people say some stuff. Yeah. And I get really upset, but then I just like, my mom is just like, just don't listen to what anybody has to say. So as long as your child is healthy, okay. she's growing, she's fine, that's what no, matters. Man, I, what is the best memory you have involving your child or your children? Guys, look, at the moment, eh, my child is still growing. Yeah, so I every day is the best memory. <laughs> what do you know even with your child? Every day. Like, yeah. Like, there's something they do every day. That that, just yeah, that I'm just like, wow. But, like, yeah. The first time my daughter called me mom. Oh. I was, as in, you know, I'm very dramatic. Right? Everybody, you guys should know. Like, I'm the kind of person that can jump, shout. Like, when she called me, my daughter was in the kitchen. And she, she now came to me, she was like, mom. If you see me screaming, you would think like, what, 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 what? <laughs> uh, yeah. So every day, really, every know, day, kind of, every day, every day, every day, is the best memory. Yeah, every day. Like, this girl is just, she brings so much joy and light into my world. So every day is just, yeah. she's just always finding ways to crack me up. Now, okay, let me say one thing that she does now, that I find that it's just so cute. If I, um, say she's playing, and she maybe bangs her hand but she hates something she hurts herself in one way she comes to find me and then she starts crying and i'm like why did you cry when it happened why did you come and meet me and then start crying she's always doing something amazing and she's just so she's such a perfect child i love her so much so that's the last 
question. That's number 10. That's number 10. The remaining 10 questions will be on Decca's channel. So I would say you should, you know, pause this video and go and visit Decca's channel to watch the rest of the video. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And tell a friend, tell a friend, tell another friend to check out my channel. And then make sure you head over to Decca's channel to watch the rest of this video and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Bye.